right, guys, third story for the day. There is so much other stuff I could probably talk about, but let's do this. Uh, Donald Trump eyes mega media challenger to Fox News. President Donald Trump has proposed starting a digital media company to challenge Fox News, according to reports by Mike Allen of Axios. Now, I presume this is obviously if he does lose the election. But, yeah. Uh, he plans to wreck Fox, no doubt about that, Allen quoted in a source with a detailed knowledge of the Trump administration. Mm, okay, yeah. Trump would likely start a digital media channel that would stream online for a monthly fee rather than push a cable news ne a channel that sources suggested. Uh, the Trump campaign's list of supporter contacts could have leveraged to speedily build an audience. Trump starting mega media company, or Trump TV, is a pervasive online rumor that continues to pop up when discussing the president's plan when he leaves the office, if he leaves the office. He hasn't lost yet. Trump was deeply disappointed in Fox News during the 2020 election, even describing it as an obstacle to his campaign. You have such incredible audience, so I can tell you them about Fox being a big obstacle. He said in an interview with talk radio legend Rush Limbaugh, it's a problem. Fox is a problem. Fox is part of the establishment. I have been telling my viewers this for years. Do not trust them. Yes, there are great people like Sean Hannity and, and Tucker Carlson. Yes, terrific. But at the end of the day, they still work for the establishment. He described Fox News as no longer great and blamed former House Speaker Paul Ryan for influencing the network more centrist than critical tone of the president. When Roger Ellis ran Fox, I meant Roger had a very strong point of view. It's tightly gone, Trump said to Limbaugh. <coughs> now, at the end of the day, like I say, this is obviously just news. It's just a rumor. Is it possible? Sure. It's definitely possible. Would I put it past him? No. Nah. At the end of the day, he's obviously worked in media before, so he obviously knows what he would be doing. I think it would be a great idea if he does manage to lose the White House. He hasn't yet. If he does manage to lose the White House, definitely be something that he could do. I don't know about the monthly subscription, though, but, yeah, we'll see how it goes. But then the day, yeah, the, the conservatives are definitely fed up with Fox News right about now. Uh, one uh, uh, OAN and and obviously uh, Newcast, New Newsmax, I think it is Newsmax, are obviously getting more traction and getting more popular. Um, I actually subscribed to both of them today, actually, because I was actually looking for more information. And I'm fed up with Fox. I've been fed up for Fox for years there. Um, but at the end of the day, yeah, uh, they've obviously go, they're getting a lot of subscribers at the moment because people are fed up with Fox. Cancel Fox was actually trending on the election night, so at the end of the day, this makes complete sense, and I think Trump would be smart to do it. Um, but yeah, obviously having an anti-establishment major network would be great. He would have the contacts to do it. He would have the base to do it. Trump could definitely pull this off. Um... It might make Fox sweat a bit too. But guys, let me know your thoughts are in the comment section below. Uh, what do you think about this? Do you think it, you should just support OAN or, or Newsmax? I think it is. Um, let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Or do you think he should go off and make his own network? And then we could have three. Um, after all, the left has, what, six or so? Four or six major networks? Um, so let me know your thoughts are in that comment section below. If this video has been helpful, please smack that like button. If you're new to the channel, welcome and subscribe. Apart from that, guys, we'll see you in the next demonetized video tomorrow. Have a great night. Enjoy yourselves and uh, see you then.